Here are four London rival fans. They've been putting a room together to rank each other from one to four based on questions asked by myself. They will have three minutes per question to come to a final decision on where they rank. Will they all peacefully agree? Well, okay, I'll hold it, I'll hold You're it for saying. this, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Or will they all argue amongst themselves? You not step you're back, you're hey, going, hey, you're hey, going, you're going number one, you're going number one. You're going number one, you're going number one. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. More on that later. But for now, let's get into the first question. Which team has the best atmosphere? You know what, with the new stadium right now, I'd say we're probably number one because, um, yeah, the, the, the atmosphere is just mental when the trumpet starts going and all the fans oh, are there. We've got Emirates, bro. We've got Emirates. Ashburton, what? but listen. The, the Ashburton, library. No, it's the not library. library, bro. It's not library. <laughs> you know what it is, though? <laughs> last, year, <laughs> last year, your atmosphere was rockier than this year, bro. Like That's this year, it's of, gone downhill it, well, a little we're bit. We're not expected to be where we were, so it was, yeah, it was prob- uh, yeah, I know, but it's, it's got better. It's got a lot better. It's got a lot better. It has man. got a lot better, Loud. but it, it's still a little bit of a library. I, I can't talk much because my Stamford Bridge is the same yeah, problem. Fingers are it's between us. That's what I mean. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, between yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stamford Bridge is a DFS. Do you know what I mean? It looks like a furniture store. Yeah, yeah. I'll hold third. I'm happy to hold third, innit? I'm happy to hold third. Park was sick. The atmosphere there was mental, but with the new stadium and the Olympic. Running ground, it's, it's not, a bit, yeah. it's a bit, it's a bit. Uh, Do you know what? I'm gonna take two. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm staying gonna, in one hundred percent right now. The new Tottenham Stadium. Okay. Okay. Take 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 four. Four. It's the only fourth I'm getting today. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the most deluded fan base? You lot allow it. You lot, you lot. Hey, you're hey, going hey, number one. You're going number one. You're going number one. You are second. You are second. So go over there. What? You're definitely second. Spurs fans are deluded. Nah, nah, nah. Problem yeah, I'll take is, you both, you know. The <laughs> problem is, there are certain individuals of this club, and I'm going to name them now, yeah. that make it seem that way. There's a lot of guys on, it's especially problem, last man. year, when you lot were doing what you were doing. But I was humble. I'm yeah, a, you know, I'm a minority. Yeah, but, but I know. Yeah, you know, you know <laughs> you're a minority. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what's quite funny to see from here? The fact that you're all the way to the right, <laughs> and everyone else is like just over there. You know what? No, wait, 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 wait. I'ma hold it because I. What are we saying for second, yeah, third, and fourth? Though? So definitely like you, your fan base. You guys, yeah, definitely, definitely your, your fan base. But our fans are quite. Our fans are quite modest. We know we haven't won a trophy no, no, in a while. No. We want to win trophies, but it's not like after the first five games, you guys are winning the league. Oh come on! You know stop. What I mean? If your fan base wasn't deluded, like we're saying, we wouldn't have been hearing those takes. You know, I was seeing a lot oh, of people. No, no, no. We had a lot of. We had a lot of rival fans throw that on us. No, we didn't say that. We spoke about. But I'm gonna say this. This has got to swap around over here, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm going there in a minute. Chelsea and Spurs. Or no, no, no. West. You two. Oh, oh, no, West Ham are not... But then West Ham fans are oh, telling everyone how massive they are. We do say we're and massive. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you, there you go. <laughs> I don't know how this is worked out. I don't, I don't agree yeah, with this, man. No, I, don't I, don't agree with this. I don't think they're deluded. No, 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 it's, no, no. it's Spurs, bro. Spurs are second. West Ham fans were talking a lot of crap to every other team last year after they won a make, make-believe trophy. <laughs> this trophy didn't even <laughs> exist. When you were in that tournament? <laughs> yeah, no, we didn't. Happened, we didn't play our last game because of COVID. So we we went out on a technicality. Uh, we didn't no, go yeah. out. On, yeah, no, so they're like, not deluded. I don't. No, 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 no. It has to be Spurs. There's no, be Spurs. There's no the reason why they're not deluded. Bit. They know they're in the dumps. Yeah, anyway. the thing is with us. With us, yeah, we talk a lot, but we've got trophies to show. Yeah, you, know, you know, we've got a lot of trophies to show in the past you twenty got, years. I think you got a swap. I think Patrick. It's definitely. If I'm taking one, you got to take two. You're not putting West Ham fans as more deluded off a little bit. I'll hold it. I'll hold it. Yeah, yeah. Spurs fans are deluded, but not as deluded as you guys. though. Arsenal, hundred percent. You know that? I've been standing on one since the beginning, bro. I took it. Yeah, I took the one. I took that. Oh, I took that. Which of you? Is the most hated club. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Hey, hey, hey! hey. By the way, guys, this is bullying. Yeah, Arsenal because of your fan base. You know it's you, bro. You know it's your fan base. And bro, I like you. You seem humble. The word. You seem like a more, you know. Yeah, oh. you know, we found the one yeah, humble yeah, fan. Yeah, we found yeah, the one humble yeah, fan in the fan base. Wait, wait, wait. Who seems more level-headed than the rest of Can I just stay here for a bit, just to feel like? I think it's you lot. I would say we're probably second because all the other teams hate us. Chelsea hate us. West Ham hate us. Yeah, yeah. We technically have the most rivalries, like close rivalries amongst you guys. I guess. I'll put myself third. You lot, you, you lot are not hated. Like West Ham are not- You all went to our parades. Do you know what I'm saying? You all went to our parades. <laughs> no, I, <was> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> now, you know what? The bus took the wrong route. Everyone hates Man, us, bro. I blame Arsene Wenger. Even you hate your own yeah. fan. <laughs> oh, that was a nice quick one. I like it. Damn, that's too easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's getting tasty between the rival fans. And speaking of tasty, who offers the highest quality super quick meals delivered right to your door? HelloFresh offers a wide variety of healthy meals that you can cook from home in super quick fashion. For someone like myself who works during the day and needs to film videos in the evenings like the one you're watching now, time is not on my side. HelloFresh takes the stress of shopping for the right ingredients and prepping the meal away by delivering the right portions to your doorstep. Allow me to cook a delicious dinner in no time to make it to the studio. Mm. 
as expected, unbelievable. Cooking a quick 15 minute meal like this one will save so much time going forward and we can create some amazing content for you guys. But it doesn't stop there. I have a special and exclusive code for you so you can get 60% off your first box plus 25% off the next two months plus some free gifts. All you gotta do is use code GEORGEBOX or click the link in the description below. But this offer is only available for a limited time only. So take full advantage of the discount down below, whether you're a new customer or an existing customer that canceled their subscription over 12 months ago. So you can make absolute bangers like this. And speaking of bangers, let's get back into the content. Let's go. Who has benefited the most from VAR this season? Well, that's a tough one. Uh, I don't think we have. No, we're not one because we've been shagged, man. Should have brought once ago. today, man. Should have brought <laughs> yeah, once. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> Liverpool, we got out the door. If that yeah. was <laughs> what happened with us against Liverpool? That was mental. Like the fact that that goal got disallowed. One. So, <laughs> I'll probably say. I'll probably, then, say no, I'll probably say you guys. No, nah, but then there's so many other decisions. <laughs> with Arsenal, I can think of when you went to Anfield. When Odegaard literally handballed it. I hear that. But there's Havert, that one. Havertz, uh, Villa, Villa away. Newcastle when the ball New went out. Newcastle ball went out. Out. We're not yeah, sure. The Joe Linton Gabriel, one. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think we've been shafted more than more than we've benefited though. I think we've been shafted. We've been shafted more, more, mate. We've got Gusto, red card against Villa. Even the other day, the two the two penalties that we didn't get against uh, Liverpool. Yeah. We needed a Liverpool fan here. That would have been easier. <laughs> it would have been, <laughs> <it would've> been <laughs> there. Yeah. The biggest VAR like uh, mess up and the one that's been spoken about the most is probably the Joe Linton challenge at Newcastle. Mm -hmm. Like it's because you guys are the loudest on social media. I but, hear it. I hear but, it. Yeah. I think of that before I think of any West Ham. It wasn't challenge. even just that. I saw Bruno. The, the all right. Havertz could have been sent off. I hear it. But mm. Bruno was going mad that game as well. Should have been sent off. Let's think of like the, the biggest, the, the biggest decisions that we've had go for us. It must. It has to be you guys. Yeah. That was a clear. That was clearly onside. Yeah. And it yeah. got given. We all saw so that even before the. We're replay. not saying that you lot have been getting all these decisions go your way, but it's been that's been the biggest decision. That was a absolute. Goes, but trick. Nah, nah, but the only reason why I'm not gonna say that is because since then we've had nothing. We've had so many tackles not be given. We had our. Uh, uh, Joe Linton punched one of our players in the face. <laughs> We've had Bruno Gamerez punch oh, someone and get away with it. Oh, uh, maybe yeah, Ketty, yeah, yeah. I took out we, the we goal. Had, one, yeah, we've yeah. had one penalty given to us all season. You're three or four, 100%. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll go one I'll because I'll of that. Three. I'll go one because of that what thing, but... I, I, I'm staying here, bro. Like, we've had a lot of a lot of decisions go against us. I'm trying to think West Ham. What's West Ham? I know, I know. I'm not I sure. Think, I can't remember West Ham. I, 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 can't, think of any. I, I can't, can't think of think any. Of too many. Maybe we come to the conclusion that it's, it's cloudy here, but Liverpool would be through the roof. Yeah, Liverpool would be through yeah, the roof. Yeah, Liverpool yeah, yeah, would be through the roof. Yeah. Who has the better manager? Ooh. We know about my manager, man. Oh, Payella Pep, as they nicknamed What, what do we know about your manager? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Payella. <laughs> He's bowled the Premier League. That's all I know. <laughs> Listen to this. Andrew's won more trophies than, than oh, all the other managers. Cut. That league over there, you know? That's mad. Kilmarnock and Nibla. Kilmarnock and all that. He's won in Australia. He's won in Japan. He's won international duties with Australia. Why are you laughing? Is he not? Stop, Is he, stop, what, stop. What's, what's the joke? Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Where's the joke? What has Arteta won? Yeah, it's like FA Cup, FA Cup. FA Cup. with a new nine routine, season, which he so. inherited. Yeah, exactly. But halfway through, through the season, yeah. Exactly. So if you're saying about who, better manager, obviously Arteta right now has got the better credentials in the sense of what he's done with Arsenal. But Ange CV smashes it. David Moyes has got a thousand games in management. <laughs> Is that <laughs> I don't even rate boys. <laughs> have, you, have you seen how many games is lost in the Prem? Yeah. You see the stat for the for the losses, yeah. Uh, and I'm only going to put I'm only going to put you lot there yeah. because you lot actually they beat us this season. Mm. Do you know what? Though? When we played them away. Yeah, we beat all of you guys, by the way. Yeah, yeah, we can't say that. You know. Why? Can't say. I'm so mad we lost them. You know, we were so good that game. So I mad. About, I can't talk about Pochettino's time. Mm. In, in the Prem from years ago. I'm talking about what I've seen now and he's not been, not been the same. I mean, it's, it's, it's not fair to say that about Moyes though, because Moyes is never, well, other than the Man United job, um, he's never really managed a top side. Mm. Everton got him Champions League football. West Ham, he's got him we had good players a conference Everton, league. He had some yeah. top at PNR. Yeah, had uh, Cahill. But they, they were fighting about their, yeah, but they were fighting about their Yeah, yeah they, 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 they were yeah. punching. He's, he's never, punching. Been, he's okay, never yeah, been the yeah, guy yeah. that are, like, would come into a top four side yeah. other than the Man United job and it just didn't work out. Like, yeah. I mean, just to put Ange above David Moyes over a six month CV, I think is wild. What? I really if you do. look at the two managers, I, really do, man. I give I you a really hundred football fans. No one's picking Moyes over Ooh. Ange. Cool, man. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, but because he's got, in the comments. People in the comments, no please. Ooh. There's no way no, you're picking Moyes. Because he's got an Australian way. accent and calls everyone oh, mate. Come on. <laughs> That's it. He plays no, good he, football. Yeah, because he's not scared to play and he transformed the team. David Moyes will sit behind the ball for 90 minutes, have two shots on target and stink a 2-1. That doesn't happen. Wins games. What? 
<laughs> what, what, so what we're saying, I'm staying in London, yeah? I, d- I don't know why you're saying, I'll get to you in a minute. On, on the technicality. I, oh, yeah, I, see, I see him building up to me. I see him building up to me, you know, he's waiting. You're, you're first on the technicality. Yeah, on the that's technicality, all it is. That's about it. Who has had the better transfer business? This season. This season. So summer and the January that's just gone. Oh, okay, wait, wait. So... You, you lot, are, I think you're no, far first, up here somewhere. No, but you could say, be but, there, though. But, 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 you know what? I would have said us, but we did made one siding yeah. that threw off our window. Who, who's that? Kai. So, boy, oh, okay. But look at look who we signed. We signed Vicario, Yodoji. Uh, we've signed... You signed him the year before. He came back from loan. I'm not yeah, having that. Yeah, no. Nah, he came in this year. No, he came in, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's not, he's not a part of this. Yeah. You yeah. <laughs> 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 well, can't be on loan for a year. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? what I'm, I'm going to accept... We still, we still not, got Van der Ven, Dragushin. I'm going to accept, accept we're not there. Okay, right, I'm, okay. I'm going to accept. So we'll go... Madison. That's a big one. 100%. But it's between you two, I think, this one. Actually, wait. Who you lot, Sam? Well, we've signed some good players, but we've signed a lot of young players as well, you know. I can't big up our transfer window because of the amount of young players yeah. that we bought. We bought too many. Cole Palmer, as much as I like, Cole Palmer is so sick though. Like, that, no, that like, that's what I'm saying. I like, I, there's a lot of players in our team that are young, yeah. but they have quality. And you, you heard me speaking about it all yeah, summer. Yeah, right? yeah, 100%. But at the same time, to not go and go by a striker and depending oh. on Jackson week in, week out yeah. is a howler. Do you know what I'm saying? So, what are you, you know, saying? I'm Talk to me. So it's close me. between us. Yeah. I think you probably signed more. That's the problem. And they've yeah. all done quite well. Mm. We've got Ward Prowse, yeah. uh, Alvarez, Kudus, Mavropanos scored the winner against you. Um, from- there was no need, you know. There's no need for that. <laughs> Even though I am obviously a Spurs fan. Yeah. And I'd love to see us number one. Just to play devil's advocate a little bit. Do you think West Ham replaced Rice better than we replaced Kane? I would yeah, say, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So, you know, I'll, I'll give it to you then. I'll give it to you. Yeah. Even though, yeah, I'll yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, I've got to be fair. I, I'm happy to give you number right, one cool. on that because right. I know our signings have also been solid as yeah. well. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. One yeah. thing that's sure is both of our clubs lost our best players and got better. Yeah, definitely. Well, as a team shout. unit. Yeah, very good so, shout. you know what? I'll good give point. you that. We both money, we both money balled the hell out of the. What should I give Spurs as well? You didn't go sign the flashy guys. Yeah, you signed yeah, guys that no one knows that, about. But I look at Vicario. He's yeah, been the best yeah. keeper. Hundred yeah. percent. Look at Nicky Van der Ven as well. How good he's been. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Admit it. Yeah, yeah. God, yeah, I know. you know I'm going to hold that. As long as I don't hold four, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Who has had the best season so far? Compared to preseason expectations. Come here, my guy. Considering how yeah. we <laughs> we're about <laughs> considering how we performed, you know what? Where we are right Wait, now. You know what? We're not expected to be sick for Christmas. We were top of the form table over Christmas. You know what I mean? We're as West Ham are punching up in this conversation. Let's be honest. Yeah. Uh, we've got a smaller wage budget. We pay players less. We've got less of a transfer budget. No one expects West Ham to finish sixth, mm. seventh in the league. I think Tottenham have had a really good season. I think that's down to Andrew as well. Yeah. And just kind of and the recruitment as well. He's, mm. he's become that manager that you hate to like as a rival. Fans yeah, facts. kind of thing. Yeah. Arsenal were kind of expected to be there because yeah. you went out and spent more money than a lot. Of but some said it was a fluke. Some said it was a fluke. Yeah. Oh, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, some, some said. What you thought you were gonna finish out of the top four now? All of a sudden, not you know, out of top four. Declan but... Rice, Deckers, <laughs> you know? yeah. Now, do you know what? I'm, I think it's. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Lost Harry Kane in the summer. Brand new manager. Brand new back line, Madison. Like no one knew where it was. No, where I accept that. You, you, you lot are yeah. being honestly. You lot, you're you're there. You lot are there. I, I genuinely think I would say West Ham. We're one and two because you, we lost our best players yeah. and got better. Yeah, yeah. All right, do you know yeah, what? West Ham. I think. I think. Right, I think you got two. Second. All right, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I can't argue my position. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it. He's delegating to everyone else. He's like, I've been humbled. I've been humbled. I like this. Fair. It's fair. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Which team? has the best future projection. So let's say the next five years. Oh, oh. this is a tricky one. I go to four, bro. <laughs> great goalkeeper, nah, nah, great nah, fullbacks. Nah, nah. I'm gonna just take one, because I know it's us, you know what I'm uh, saying? I'm gonna take one. It is, it is, it is. You know, I'm going you know two, I'm going two, I'm going two. I would have, I would have, I would have argued for my club. <laughs> Before, down. at the start, <laughs> at the, at the start, before, of, at the start Chelsea the, fans were very loud at the start of the year. At the start of the season, but honestly, Pochettino, he's not been good enough. Yeah. So as it is right now, I've got no confidence to even say that our project is looking, you know, looking optimistic as much as it was before. Yeah. But as it is, I'll probably say Arsenal, yeah. as much as I hate to say it. You guys, I was actually bigging up Ange in the summer. Yeah, I think yeah, if he's yeah, backed yeah. properly, yeah. you guys can actually win some trophies. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm still going to have to go ahead of you. Ooh, oh, I don't know. Sorry, I don't know. Hold on, they've won a European trophy oh, most recently, I've ever won. He's joking, surely, surely. He's got um, more for, you know. <laughs> no, we've got, we've got to be like real here. West Ham are punching up compared to the rest of you guys, 100%. But we have better players than you. And we have some Uh, better players than you. Some better players than you. Our best player last year went to them for 105 million. You buy players for 105 million and they're not worth that anymore. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) 
There's no way. There's no world where you're third in this list. I, I, I got. I got to be real. Like these guys have got Champions League aspirations. You've got mid-table aspirations. Oh, <laughs> This is what Pochettino's done to my club. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Pochettino's done Don't to look my club. Don't look at us, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Todd Bowley and that, you don't got to listen to this, yeah? I'm yeah. fixed up because I can't be dealing with this from West Ham fans. <laughs> Jamie, you're a cool guy, but come on, my brother. You have not got a higher projection than us, right? We sold Declan Rice for, what, 105 million. Every yeah. player that we've bought would walk into your side. Absolutely. I, I, I can't disagree. I like Kudus. Absolutely. I like Pochettino. Kudus, I like Alvarez, Bowley. James Ward-Prowse. I got to be honest with you, man. Like we're finishing above you this season. Yeah, you got players like Cole Palmer who's performing well, but yeah. in the Todd Bowley era, can you name another good signing? Yeah. What, what are you gonna say, Raheem Sterling? No, I don't want to hear it. Really, mm. Cole Palmer's you know, the only guy. Do you know what though? I, I, I hear I hear what you're saying because I like a lot of your players, yeah. But the main thing why I can't really see it is because of your manager. Like you've got an, you've got an attacking set of players and you've got a manager that's got them shackled in it. So if you was to get like a I don't know, as badly as he did at Chelsea, Graham Potter, forward thinking you might do a little bit better. Someone like that, someone that's more attacking minded with the players that you've got, bro. Because Kudus and that, they're going to end up leaving if he carries on playing like this. Can we put it to a vote? Can we put it to a vote? The, the other guys can help out. You guys can decide as well. If you think... No, no, no. no but you know what? I'm not going to lie. I feel with the signings they've made, I'm, I'm with him. I feel like Chelsea, I hear it, but the Poch thing is just thrown off every. I get what you're nah, saying as well. I, I can't lie, I'm with Chelsea right now. Are you? Yeah, oh, I'm going to have to be the decider in this. this you might have to be. You might have to be the decider. Oh, no. But I, I think we're still. Bro, George, George, we've got. I'll be real. Like, you're trying to bleed to him. I'm going to have to probably say Chelsea. This is ridiculous. Now, the only reason is they've easily made it to like a League Cup final. And I just see in the next five years, Chelsea winning more trophies than West Ham, even if it is like just League Cups or, or whatever. I just, I think it's looking a bit bleak for both of you. <laughs> Thank you once again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Please take advantage of the amazing discount using the link in the description below or the code on screen. And leave a comment as to which fans you think should rank each other next.